Example number one, how do we use the laws of logarithms to solve logarithmic equations with different bases? So that problem you've been given there, the first term there is to base 2, the second term is base 4, the third term is base 16, is equals to 37. So when a logarithmic equation have different bases, we have to simplify it further by making them to have the same base. So 4 can be expressed as 2 squared and 16 can be expressed as 2 raised to the power 4. So we can write, if you are given for instance log x over y, that is simply log x over log y. So if you are given log x to base y, that is simply log x over log y. So if you have log x to base 2, that is log x over log 2. If you have log x to base 4, that is simply log x over log 4. If you have log x to base 16, that is simply log x over log 16. So we saw that earlier in loss of logarithms. So we can now simplify that equation further. So where we have log x to base 2, we'll simply put it as log x over log 2. Where we have log x to base 4, that will be log x over log 4. Where we have log x to base 16, that will simply be log x over log 16. So that is plus 4, log x over log 4. Then log x to base 16, we'll have there plus 2. Log x to base 16 will be log x over log 16. So that one is equals to 37. So log 4, 4 can be written in terms of, can be factorized to have 2. So log 4 will be log 2 squared. And log 16 will be log 2 to base 4. Log 2 to power 4, I mean. So log 4 will just be log 2 squared. Then it is plus 2 log x, then that log 16 will be log 2 to power 4. So the whole of that is equivalent to 37. So the powers from the loss of logarithm, a power of a number inside the log can be written as a coefficient of that logarithm. So if you have log 2 to power 2, that power 2 will now be the coefficient. So there we have 16 log x over log 2 plus 4 log x, so in the denominator we will now have 2 log 2. The power can be written as a coefficient. Then it is plus, the third term there is 2 log x, in the denominator we will have 4 log 2. So the power 4 can be written as a coefficient. So the whole of that is 37. So we can now take it back, everything now have base 2. Everything on the left hand side of the equation is to base 2. So log x over log 2, is simply log x to base 2. So where there is log x over log 2, we will put log x to base 2. So all the terms on the left hand side of the equation are now to base 2. So that was the first step to ensure that all the bases are the same. So we've actually simplified it and we've ensured all the bases on the left hand side of the equation are to base 2 because 4 can be factorized in terms of 2, 16 can be factorized in terms of 2. So on the right hand side of the equation we have 37 and it all must also have log to base 2. So for it to have log to base 2 then it means we will multiply 37 times 1 and 1 is the same as log 2 to base 2. From the loss of logarithms we said a log of a number to the same base is just 1. So on the right hand side of the equation we multiply 37 by 1 and that 1 is log 2 to base 2. So everything from the left to right are to base 2. So if you have log x to base x that is 1. So if you have log 2 to base 2 that is 1. So we will introduce log 2 to base 2 on the right hand side of the equation to ensure that all the logs are now to base 2. So the next step is to remove the coefficients meaning those coefficients on the left hand side 16, 2 and a half are going to be powers. So that is log x to power 16 to base 2. Then it is plus log x to base 2 then to power 2 then plus log x 
to power half, then to base 2. So all those coefficients are the powers. So 37 will now be 2 to power 37, then to base 2. Now, we can now simplify further both left hand side of the equation and right by removing log to base 2. So if we factorize out log to base 2 on the left hand side of the equation, where there is addition will be multiplication. If we remove log to base 2 outside from the loss of logarithm, so where we have addition will be multiplication. So we have x raised to power 16, that addition is multiplication times x raised to power 2 times x raised to power half from the loss of logarithm. If you remove the logs outside, addition changes to multiplication. So that one will be the same as log to base 2 of 2 raised to power 37. So at that point, we can ignore the logs on both sides of the equation. We've now removed the logs outside. So it means we can ignore the logs on both sides of the equation. So when we ignore the logs, we simplify it further. On the left hand side of the equation, we have the same base with multiplication sign, loss of indices. When you have the same base with multiplication sign, you add the powers. So x to power 16 times x to power 2 times x to power half is simply x. You add the powers. Same base with multiplication sign, you add the powers. So 16 plus 2 plus a half will be 18.5. So we have x raised to power 18.5 will be the same as 2.